Hello friends, in this video we are going to make the trigonometry table from 90 degree to 360 degree. Now here we are going to see only the values of sin theta, cos theta and tan theta. For the remaining three trigonometric ratios we can find the reciprocal of these trigonometric ratios. So let us see the standard angles from 90 degree to 360 degree. So the first angle is going to be 90 degree, next is 180, the next is 270 degree and the last one is 360 degree. I have also written their measures in radians. So 90 degrees is pi by 2 radians, 180 is pi radians, 270 is 3 pi by 2 radians and 360 is 2 pi radians. So before starting with the table, in order to understand the tricks of how to memorize the values of sin theta, cos theta and tan theta, I have drawn one graph over here. So we have drawn simply x axis and y axis and we are going to plot these respective angles on this axis. So the first angle is 90 degree or pi by 2 radians that is that it lies on the positive x axis. So it is 90 degree or it can be written as pi by 2 radians. The next angle here is going to be pi radians that is 180 degree. It is 180 degree. The next angle here is 270 degree that is 3 pi by 2 radians and the last angle is 360 degree that is 2 pi radians so 360 degree is also 0 degrees so the values for trigonometric ratios for 0 degree and 360 degree are going to be same now let us start for the first trigonometric ratio that is the sin theta now in order to remember the values of sin theta and cos theta just remember that the values of sin theta is always related to y axis the values of sin theta are always related to y axis and the values of cos theta are related to x axis now how to relate this axis with the ratio sin so let's see which angles lies on y axis and before that I am going to take a unit number 1 on both the axis so it is 1 plus 1 here it will be minus 1 and here it is going to be minus 1 now let us start with sin theta so the two angles that lie on the y axis are 90 degree and 3 pi by 2 degree or 270 degree for that the values of sin theta are going to be plus 1 and minus 1 because y is related to sin axis and for that 90 degree lies on positive y axis so sin 90 is going to be plus 1 so it is plus 1 sin of 270 degree or sin of 3 pi by 2 radians it the angle lies on negative y axis and the value which are going to get is minus 1 so sin of 270 degree is going to be minus 1 while the remaining two angles that is pi and 2 pi radians does not lie on the y axis since they lies on x axis so for that the values of sin are going to be 0 now let's start with the cos theta cos theta is related to x axis so the angles which lies on x axis are 0 degree 180 degree and 360 degree again the values of 0 and 360 are going to be c so the first let's start with 180 degree so 180 degree lies on negative x axis and cos 180 is going to be minus 1 so cos of 180 is going to be minus 1 the next angle which lies on x axis is 360 degree so cos of 360 angle lies on positive x axis so the answer is plus 1 the remaining two angles which lies on y axis for that cos values are going to be 0 then let us start with the value of tan theta just divide the values of sin and cos you will get the values of tan theta as the formula goes tan theta is equal to sin theta upon cos theta right so 1 upon 0 the answer is going to be infinity in the last video also we have seen if the numerator is if the numerator is 0 the answer is going to be 0 and if the denominator is 0 the answer is going to be infinity so 1 upon 0 denominator is 0 the answer is going to be infinity here 0 upon minus 1 this would be 0 minus 1 upon 0 again it is infinity and 0 upon 1 is 0 so this is how we remember the values of tan theta 
I hope it is a very simple trick of remembering this sin theta, cos theta and tan theta for the standard values of 90 to 360 degree. But still if you are having any doubt you can leave it in the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe our channel for the further updates. Thank you.